It might be embarrassing to talk about, but it's more common than you'd think. Dr. Heidi Brown, a UW Health OBGYN, is here to talk about pelvic floor disorders. Now, Dr. Brown, for people who might not know what pelvic floor disorders are, can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, so the pelvic floor is the bowl of muscles that supports our internal organs. So in women, that's the bladder and the bowels and the uterus. And pelvic floor disorders are problems where those organs aren't supported properly. Okay, so who might have these disorders? So men and women can both have these disorders, but they're more common in women. And November is Healthy Bladder Awareness Month, actually, okay. which is why we're sort of talking about it. The truth is that these disorders are very common in one in four w younger women and one in three women overall and one in two women over the age of 65. So pelvic floor disorders are common. So we're taking advantage of the opportunity to talk a little bit about them. Absolutely. Now, I understand a lot of times um, things can trigger pelvic floor disorders like having children, for example. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so there are a lot of things that increase our risk. The Having children is one thing, um, but a lot of women have babies and don't have pelvic floor disorders, and lots of women with pelvic floor disorders don't don't have never had a baby. Um, other things that can increase our risk are weightlifting, chronic straining, so constipation, um, things that damage our tissue like smoking. Turns out it's not just bad for our heart and lungs, wow. but even our pelvic floor, yeah. Very interesting. So say someone realizes, okay, maybe I have a pelvic floor disorder. What should they do and what are treatment options? So the, there are a lot of good treatment options and the purpose of our event next week, so what somebody could do is come to our event next week on Wednesday night, we're hosting an event to sort of share a little bit about pelvic floor disorders and what the treatment options are. And that's gonna be on Wednesday from six to 8 p.m. at the uh, Sheraton on John Nolan Drive. Um, but the options range from doing exercises at home by yourself to sort of strengthen the muscles that support the pelvic floor, to taking medicines or wearing a brace or even having an operation. And so it depends on the symptoms and how bothered you are, what the options might be. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about that event. What can people learn at that this uh, event you guys are having? Well, it's um, hosted by the urogynecologists at UW. There are a team of five of us. And then we also have our pelvic floor physical therapists. So there are actually, just like there are physical therapists who can help you have a problem with your shoulder or your knee, right. there are physical therapists who wow. can help you with pelvic floor disorders. And so we'll talk a little bit about them and then we'll break into small groups so that women can ask questions in a more intimate setting, feel more comfortable, get their questions answered. And there will be lots of written information. We also have wine and cheese and crackers just kind of loosen it up <laughs> yeah. to make us all more comfortable talking about these things. All right, wonderful. Well, thank you so much. That's a lot of great information. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to hand it on over to AJ now for a check at our forecast.